extra limbs here at Three Mile Island Stadium here in Steeltown, Pennsylvania. I got seven extra knuckles, Grim. Hey, extra fingers and toes don't count. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for NFL action. The Cincinnati Bengals battle the Blitzburg Steelheads. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you asked for, Grim. says, it's mine, and he comes away with the pick. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off-season. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Briggs. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you... he broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 10. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a man. First and eight to go. Ah, and the defense jumps up. If he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer, just gonna say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? First and eight to go. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Forever. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hey. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one. That, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two. Hot, 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 hot. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown, touchdown. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? They get the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called setters then. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one.
It's first and ten. Second down and a lot. And that is caught for a first down. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and long. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. He could go all the way. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And they're catching up. Joke, job, go shopping. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. He refuses to go down. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. It's good. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. He took a beast boost injection. It's two yard run before he stopped. Let me tell you, get the shot this no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shed carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room into the deer antlers. The quarterback goes into a hurry up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Glenn? We all. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Hurry up offense, there is no huddle so neither team can put their players on the bench. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. For a kick this far, you just gotta kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim! It's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. The kick is good! Hey, 
as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Yeah. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a return of the ball. Return of the You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for it. You know what? Never mind. And that's the end of the second quarter. Seven will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. They're looking for a good return after giving a point. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck up. That was just a one-time thing. He's not going down! And the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to kill. You know, in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, yeah. they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And it's first and ten. Better look out, the offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when you're not yawn. And it's first and ten. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I have a quarterback threatened to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. from here on out. Five yards. Hey, 
Didn't move the changes, Gord, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Up a two. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Third down and three. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender ahead. And he's off to the races. The 20. The 10. And the defense is on his heels. Uh, that's creepy, right? That's creepy. You're not the only one who thinks that, right? Why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Briggs can't even get one. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked? First and ten. Second down and more than the QB would be. And the two-minute warning sounds, they'll have to regroup during this timeout. Second down and long. Big like this reminds me of that Tom Hanks. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Timeouts aren't just for offense, Quinn. Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. Third down and six. That's a four-yard gain. The timeout is called by the defense to stop the clock. They have one remaining. Punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I pictured that. Uh, well, maybe actually. Some discusses on the air. He's got the ball now. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. The QB's going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Well, that's a strange penalty call right there. I'm sad to notice that this ref likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. Yeah. And the offense defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> to try to conserve time. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't a licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. Second down and two. 
The offense is pretty much on fire. He took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble. He's got a case of fumbleitis. Must be their lucky day. The offense comes up with the ball. Oh, welcome to Fumble Town, USA. Population, this guy. Oh, he should be more careful when he hurdles. He's at the 40. Great shoestring tackle. will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How is it scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. That I know. Mm-hmm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it. Mutant Football League Dynasty Edition. In stores now.